let's get started with my Trisha Grace cupping tutorial. All right, the first thing you're gonna do when you get my beautiful cups out of that awesome packaging is to wash them with some warm soapy water. My cups are custom made, so this is brand new silicone that has been freshly produced. So these cups might have a powdery feel to them at first. This will go away after they have been seasoned a few times with oil. This is my beginner cup. It is the Aqua Cup, and I designed it this color to help y'all remember that it's a lighter color. It means it's going to be a lesser suction, and yes, this big cup, actually, I designed to make it a lesser suction so that it will be less painful for you all that are beginners, and it can also be used for any, any intermediate cuppers or pro cuppers. It can be used to in areas that are more painful because we all get knots and pains in our bodies and this is a great cup to use in any areas that where you have more pain because it will have less suction. show you that means you just take the cup squeeze it put it on immediately take it off put it on immediately take it off and then you're gonna go back up doing that this is for my beginners beginners stage this is going to be the best way so that you all will not bruise and it's not going to hurt. There's going to be less pain. It is a much better way to start. So go up and go back down. Pop cupping method. That means, again, you put the cup on, take it off, put the cup on, take it off, put the cup on, slide and slide method. That is when you put the cup on and immediately move it down, pop it off, put it back on, move it back up, pop it off. It is important for the beginners that you do this if you do not want to bruise or have a lot of pain. The glide and slide phase is next. Congrats for making it to this stage. Woo! Now it's time to move that big aqua cup around. Continue using this lightest suction cup to warm your fascia and muscle by moving the cup for five minutes. You can move it in circles, zigzags, side to side, or up and down. So for example, when I'm warming up my leg, I cup the entire leg for a total of five minutes using the warm-up cup. Stay in suck phase. Use the warm up cup for this phase. This phase is when you're going to literally let the cup stay on your skin and suck that fascia so that it can help to loosen up the fascia that is causing your cellulite to look worse. You can let the cup sit for up to 15 minutes, but no longer. This is one of my favorite phases when I started cupping. This stage will most likely cause bruising in the beginning or cause bruising for people that are cupping areas of pain or sore muscles. Then we move on to my fuchsia cup. I have designed it this way to help my cuppers know that, oh, okay, now we are moving on to a brighter color. It is going to be a deeper color, which is hopefully to help you remember that this is going to have more suction than your nice little fun uh, beginner cup here. So this has more suction. Hopefully the color will help to remind you a uh, dark fuchsia or a bright fuchsia means more suction. And yes, this little cup has more suction, believe it or not, than my beginner cup, which is bigger. I designed it that way. And this will be an amazing cup to get into all those places that are harder to get with the bigger cup. It's Awesome, but remember, this is for my intermediates. Pop cupping is 
is when you place the cup on, take it off, put it on, take it off. Cupping glide and slide method. That is when you put the cup on, glide and slide it up, immediately take it off. Put the cup on, glide and slide it down, immediately take it off. It is important that you immediately take the cup off during this stage if you do not want bruising. That is the pop, glide and slide method. The glide and slide stage, this is when you literally move the cup back and forth for five minutes across your area. The stay and suck phase, this is when you're going to let that cup sit for up to 15 minutes if you would like, but no longer than this. Look at this crazy suction on my arm. Finish with the glide and slide area two to three minutes per area. For example, the front of my arm is one area, the back of my arm is another area, the sides of my arm or one area. Now we graduate to my blood orange cup. I made it this color again to go to, to remind you that wow okay bright blood orange I feel it's a blood orange color dark orange this is going to to help you to know that oh my gosh you are going to get the maximum suction out of this cup. This is for my uh, pro cuppers, okay? It is for a pro cupper. Do not use if you are a beginner cupper, if you do not want to bruise. Just, we will get, we will get you moved up to the pro stage eventually, I promise. Just stick with me here. Wonderful thing about the pro cupping stage is that you can use either one of these cups to warm up with. I cupped last night and I used a combination of the beginner cup and the intermediate cup. You can use either one to start to warm up with and you will use the pop cupping stage and warm up for two to three minutes. Just remember that your warm-up stage, you want a very light suction. That is the point of the warm-up stage. So I highly recommend using one of the lighter suction cups, even if you are a pro cupper. So pop cupping method, put the cup on, take it off, put the cup on, take it off. This is an example of the pop cupping method. cup and glide slide method using the intermediate cup. That is when you take the cup, pop it on, glide and slide it down, immediately take the cup off, put it back on, glide and slide it back up. Pop, cup and glide slide method. The technique is just putting it on, sliding it down, popping it off, putting it on, sliding it up, popping it off. This is important to use this method if you do not want to bruise. Next, glide and slide that cup all around the area that you are cupping two to three minutes. Stay in suck phase. Don't leave it on longer than 15 minutes. Back to the glide and slide phase. This is your final stage. Each time you cup and blast, use the blood red orange cup to glide, slide, and move all around just like you did in the glide and slide warm up. But this time you will cup each area of concern for two to three minutes. All right, now we have one of the facial cups, but this is also going to be, and this is a, uh, of your bright orange color and this is going to be not only just a facial cup but believe it or not this will be used for beginners uh, on their arms for and it's for those beginners that don't want to bruise and don't want a lot of pain I've designed this facial cup to really give you just the right amount of suction if you are a beginner and not give you any pain and still start to get you results all right uh, and then we have a teeny tiny little 
a facial cup which is perfect for around the fine lines on your face and please know that uh, I am not doing videos about the facial cups today but I will be bringing that out soon I will be bringing that out soon I will be bringing you a facial cup tutorial soon cupping the arms for beginners arms are quite painful and so I highly recommend that you use the large orange facial cup yep use this cup it has enough suction to be used by beginners on the arms I even designed it for larger arms also you will be surprised at how easily it will glide and slide around your arms this will also be your warm-up cup please follow the regular routine for beginner cuppers but use this cup for the entire routine on the arms if you don't want to use this cup you can use the large aqua cup it does work great but it can be a lot of suction for for beginners. Hey everyone, it's Hudson here. Listen, if you love Miss Trisha's videos and you're on Instagram, then make sure you put a like on her Instagram videos and share them with your friends. And make sure to follow her and comment. She loves to get your comments. And if you want to subscribe to her on YouTube, then make sure you just hit the bikini picture, which will pop up on the left to the left of me and make sure there that you also comment to her and share her YouTube videos with everyone. Thanks a lot.